best is actually this. Anyway, uh, I'm Jack Van Breen from Guitar Showcase in San Jose, California, talking to you on Totally Guitars. And today we're going to talk about taking your tunes where they're PG&E or your electric company du jour ain't. Battery amplifiers. This one's kind of unique. Um, rumor has it the guy is local. I don't know too much about that. But he just decided to build little amplifiers into cigarette boxes. So they fit in your shirt pocket. So you can always have an amplifier with you. The disadvantage being that it's battery powered, so it lasts very long, it's not very loud. It's a little on the buzzy side. But he was an EE, electrical engineer, and he had some other thoughts. He thought, you know, you could. Actually drive a 12 inch Celestian for interesting tone capability. You're only going to get about 30 minutes, so make them a point. It's, it's useful just to have something that's a little bit louder than even a fairly resonant Stratocaster. So kind of one, one concept of a battery powered amp. We have some other amplifiers that are kind of trippy. This is the latest in the long line of what we call mini amps. This is the Vox, uh, oh here we go, it's the Vox. AC1 rhythm. And what Vox has done, this is the, like I said, the latest, they did an AC30 version. And you look at it, you go, uh, it, it's kind of cool, but um, looks like an AC30. I actually have one of the AC30 mini amps as well as a Fender Twin mini amp. And they, even though they're small, giving up some of the bottom end that you'd expect from an amplifier, they have a lot of the same tonal characteristics. Um, See if I can do this properly. Unless we may have to edit here. Oh, there we go. Okay. This one actually has modeling. these amps again is they get really decent tone if you plug in your earbuds uh, it actually has all these different cool tones this one has a drummer in it uh, but what I found useful about these if you're doing session work uh, the AC30 sound like AC30 the twins sound like twins the Marshall sound like Marshall if you put an SM57 right about here uh, I did a session once with my twin we were doing a quick demo and I, I didn't feel like taking my whole rig and plugging in all my effects and stuff. So I brought my little amp. And we walked into the session, I'm going to turn it off so, we walked into the session, so, uh, and the, the engineers, you know, kind of get, you know, drummer, you go in the, into the drum booth, the uh, bass player, you plug in over there, who's the guitar player? I said, and he says, okay, you go in that isolation room over there. And I went, okay, it's, you know, it's your studio, whatever. And so I walk over there and he goes, so where's your amp? And I went, here. And he kind of looked at me funny. That happens a lot. Anyway, he looked at me funny and said, okay. Uh, and he got a bar stool and he put the amp down. And he got a microphone and he put it about there and he's kind of mumbling to himself about wacky guitar players and such. And he goes into the studio, into the control room. I have my headphones on. He goes, okay, start playing. So I just started playing this little room thing, and I could hear him bring it up the fader, and he went, damn, because it sounded perfect in the control room. So the lesson I learned there is you don't have to bring a big old stacks and stuff to get cool tone. You just have to know how to manipulate the tone you you have. A little tiny amp with the microphone real close gets a lot of bottom end. But 
one of the reasons you want a battery powered amplifier is for its portability and to entertain small groups of people where there is no power. So, while these are great studio tricks, bedroom tricks and such, they don't have quite enough juice to go, turn my back to the camera, it's a bad thing. Let's uh, pan over here a little bit. To be heard, this is the Roland Cube Street. And Roland designed this particular beastie specifically for buskers. Uh, go on Wikipedia and look up buskers. But basically people who play on street corners with a hat or a guitar case out to make some money. Uh, and this amplifier has two speakers. It's a stereo amplifier. The speakers are eight powered, eight watts each. Now the useful thing about that is in the city of San Francisco, you can only use battery powered amplifiers that are less than 8 watts. Well, this is actually 16 watts, but they're two 8 watt ones, so the police officer can look at the spec and go, 8 watts, you're okay. If it was 9 watts, they just, the ordinance is written, they just confiscate your amp right there on the street corner and hand you a ticket. So now when you get a ticket in humiliation, you lose your amplifier. So this is very cool. And as you can hear, it's pretty. Pretty uh, robust. Has a built in tuner, uh, has several different models. So you get a lot of gainy stuff out of it. It, it, it has an acoustic simulation. demonstrate that. We'll put uh, Stevie Guitar Miller's Vintage 62 reissue aside. Uh, available for a nominal fee. acoustic amplifier. This amplifier is good if you want to attract the audience of, you know, 10, 15, maybe even 20 people on the street corner. They're all going to hear pretty good. And not only can you plug your guitar into it, but you can plug a microphone into it. It runs on a bunch of AA batteries. You can use rechargeable ones if you so desire, or you can just, you know, pollute the landfill by throwing them away by a big box at your favorite uh, discount grocery store. And it's pretty cool because you've got your vocal and your guitar, and it's loud enough. And it sounds pretty darn good. And they're about $250 street price at, at you know, fine music stores anywhere. Uh, I may have to get one because my income stream is depleted and I need to find me a street corner. The last one we're going to talk about today here is the AC33. And... Uh, I really like this amplifier because it sounds good. A lot more bottom end. Thirty-three watts, you know, two fifteen watt amplifiers. Obviously, but because of the aforementioned ordinance in San Francisco, I couldn't take this one uh, because they'd take it away from me. But it does sound better. It even has one of my favorite toys. Let's see if I can get this to work.
because obviously you can't play and do that. But you've got a little looper so you can have an accompaniment. Uh, it's got reverb chorus. The, it's it's uh, again runs off of the AAA batteries. I think you can get a show out of a set. Uh, I always when I have battery stuff, I go out and buy a big box, you know, for my wireless and my whatever pedals I have that use batteries. Uh, so I always have spare sets, but it's a good idea. This one you couldn't take into San Francisco, but it's nice and compact and it sounds really good. There are other vendors that do these sorts of things. Uh, uh, Crate had a line called the Taxi and the Limousine and the Street Bus, I think, and they're varying size. They use the lithium rechargeable batteries of, a, you know, of the era, they were pretty heavy, and unfortunately didn't have quite the quality control you would like, so they tended to break often. Uh, Alesis has a line of battery powered systems. They're bigger, nice big speaker, also rechargeable. And they do a cool thing where you can plug an iPod into it so you can have your backing tracks on an iPod. Uh, there's a, you know, that's a little bit Backstreet Boys for me, but uh, some people like to do that sort of thing. I would like to be a little bit more of a uh, spur of the moment, which is why I like my looper, which some people say is a a little bit uh, too Backstreet Boys, but I don't care. Anyway, so those are some of the battery-powered amplifiers and some things you could do with it. A Marshall. Oh, man, it sounds like the Vox, but it, I mean, we, we could demonstrate the Marshall, but it, it, it sounds like a little tiny, sounds like a, a little Lilliputian from Gulliver's Travels Marshall, until you mic that up. Uh, Fender makes a, they make a, a little micro hot rod to fill. The twin, uh, there's a bunch of different things like that. And they all have, they actually do have the total characteristics, so it be, behoove you to experiment with that. But uh, there you are. I, I don't know what else I could say about battery powered amplifiers, is that they do serve a purpose. Uh, Jack Van Breen Guitar Showcase in San Jose from Totally Guitars.